Hi, this is Zach Sutton from Zach Sutton Photography, and today we're going to do some fitting and styling for an upcoming shoot for F Stoppers. When you're working with a large team on a big production shoot, motivation is contagious. And if you can get everybody else riled up and motivated, you're going to have far less chance of cancellations or last minute no shows. So, for this most recent shoot that I did, I had a stylist there, a hairstylist, makeup artist. Uh, video production team and so on. Since there were some people in the team that I had not met before, my number one thing that I wanted to do before the shoot even began was to meet with people. So what I did was I set up a, a fitting for the styling at Toad Road here in Albuquerque and that gave me an opportunity to not only meet the stylist hands-on but I can also meet the, the model at that point. The stylist had already picked out a couple different outfits. Certainly, you know, he has more fashion sense than I do so kind of just went with him and let him take the leadership role for that point. I did not want a lot of color or a lot of loud patterns that would distract from the shoot. We had this beautiful car picked out, we had an awesome location, and I wanted the photos to sort of have like an environmental feel to them. Prior to meeting with the stylist and the model, I did have a concept board already put out. I already sent it to both of them and kind of gave them an idea of what we wanted. So it made everything go smoothly through the styling process and it allowed us to work efficiently and find exactly what we needed as quickly as possible. And the best part was having the model there so she could go in, get it fitted, make sure everything looks fine, uh, and there's no issues with sizing or anything like that. The next day, I was able to meet with the car owner. I found the car owner through another photographer, actually. I had a pretty good relationship with this other photographer, and we had met a few times. He's an automotive photographer. I'm portrait, so we're in completely different field, but we both have interest in each other's fields. If anybody knew where a great car was, it would be him. He set me up with uh, Kurt. So we met with Kurt the day before the shoot. I wanted to see the car firsthand because I had seen some photos of it on Flickr and such, but I wanted to see it in person and get some video footage for that car. Meeting with him before the shoot was great because we were able to build this personal connection. And by doing that, I had no worries whatsoever that he was going to cancel last minute or not show up. One thing that I've always found, especially with working with these large teams, if you show professionalism and you show that motivation, asking people something as simple as, will you help style this shoot or will you let us use your car for this shoot, most people are excited to jump on that opportunity. So don't be afraid to ask anybody for anything as long as you're presenting it in a way that shows professionalism. I take a hands-off approach upon meeting with them, upon getting seeing that they have the same ideas that I do. Let them do their thing and then I can focus on the photos, the lighting, what I want to do for retouching. So in summary, you want to be absolutely professional for all your shoots, you want to have high motivation, and you want to assemble the best possible team you can for your shoots in order for everything to go smoothly. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned later this week for the entire process broken down from production to post-production and beyond.